What's up guys, Collector B here and happy Sunday. We have a huge, fun, packed, full video for you guys. Full of turtles and more turtles, I guess. So, um, we're just going to get into it. we got a lot of stuff to go through. So, if you are new, please like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. For all of you who keep coming back, you are amazing. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of turtle stuff. Um, obviously, Holothon is going on. I have not found anything by me, but I have buddies that sent me stuff, so super excited to open this stuff. But we are going to start with something else first. So we have Jack Pacific. Boom! The Super Mario Bros. movie, Bowser. Now, uh, if you have been paying attention, these are all over at Walmart and Target. They have Bowser, Luigi, Mario, Peach, and Toad. And obviously, this is for the new movie, that is coming out. Um, I believe Chris Pratt is Mario, right? And yeah. then, um, which looks okay. I will definitely watch it. I probably will not go see it, but did not pick up anybody else besides this Bowser, just because the Bowser looks so cool. He's really big, and apparently, he does something. So we're gonna pop it open. We're gonna see what we think. But um, I don't collect a ton of Mario stuff. I well, we got the castle, right? got the castle one time on clearance for the smaller ones um and then i bought a couple mario figures little ones but then i just couldn't really get into it but i do love mario I used to play mario kart and smash brothers all the time as well as mario party was one of my favorites and this bowser just looks really cool so i had to get it um we did find this on a pallet with a bunch of wrestlers which was pretty cool so He's pretty decent size. This one has some marks on him, but pretty much everyone we saw had some marks on them. Um, it's okay. There's a lot of ties in here, though. So this is going to be real fun to open. Let's cut this all off. Box is kind of boring. Um, well, I mean, the background, at least. So if you're going to buy this, I would most likely take it out of the box because I think he's going to be pretty cool. Let's see. Boom. I think that's all of it. Nope, he's got it in his legs, too. Man, they put those in there. Got that one. And almost. Man, I cannot get that one. Technical difficulties. There we go. I got them all up in him. Look at that. Okay. So, here is Bowser. Wow, he's really loose. Surprising. Boom! So there is Bowser. He does have 14 points of articulation, um, which is pretty cool. We will go over that as well. And there's some really cool things you can do with this guy, which I was totally totally unaware you see yeah. <laughs> i'll have you hold him he's super loose i'll go over that but he looks cool i really like the size um i like the coloring i think it's a fun display piece for sure but he's gonna be very interesting i am super excited to see exactly what he does um apparently you can put some batteries in him and some water and he kind of does like a flame breathing effect which is cool so there he is he looks pretty good though right yeah so as far as articulation like i said super loose i mean crazy loose which isn't terrible um this whole leg does bend i mean they move fantastic you got the turn there his tail turns all the way it does have some articulation here as well so you can move that tail pretty well um, the arms, again, same thing, super, super loose. The wrist joint is good. This arm bends like this. So only thing, though, you have no, like, forward. That's your forward with his arms. Um, his head, I'm curious. His head doesn't move worth nothing, though. That's kind of a bummer. I wish you could at least turn his head, but he's stuck. Um, you can see inside his head there is like a light. I believe it's an LED light to kind of do a red effect. So we will get into that. But 
I mean, pretty cool. Um, kind of a bummer that head doesn't move, but he is crazy loose, which is also <laughs> kind of, I don't know if I like it or not, because as you can see, he's having trouble standing. But apparently we can, I don't know how you do this, but you can rip off the shell. All right, so the whole shell comes off here. I wonder if that was supposed to come off or not. Kind of weird that that one spike stays in. But as you can see, it's just a rubber shell. That is what he has on the back here. And then apparently this comes off as well. So, oh my lord. Are you sure it doesn't have batteries in it already? It said batteries not included. Okay. So, yes. Just making sure. Just making sure. I thought this screwdriver wasn't going to work. But it does, so we're good. Oh, I don't think I needed to undo that, though. That's probably Whoops. just one. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here are the batteries. They go into the back there. So it is three AAAs, and it does not come with them. So um, this guy was, what was he? Was he 30? Uh-huh. He was 30, which I thought was kind of high at first, but um, I didn't realize he did some of the stuff he does. So... There is also this piece that you pull out here. And as you can see, you can uh, dump something into there. So you're supposed to add a couple drops of water. Now it shows to use a dropper. They should have provided the dropper. They should have because we don't have a dropper. So we're going to try this. And I'm probably going to screw it up. So. Oh, oh, it does say, so everybody is aware, that you are not oh, oh, supposed to fill this with other liquids. So I wonder if I was supposed to take that out. No, it doesn't say to take that out. I overflowed it, though. All right, we'll see if that works or not. Kind of interesting, water and batteries. We'll see if I can get this to work. All right, so then we are going to put the shell back on, which I did find out why that spike is there. Oh, did you turn it nope, on? Nope, I didn't. So we got <laughs> to pull his shell back off. There is an on off switch here. We will turn it on, throw this back on, and oh, okay, that's pretty sick. Look at that. So you hit the spike here, and he blows out mist and has the LED light. That is really cool, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about that. That's really cool. So again, um, you know, I thought it was kind of expensive, thirty dollars. Like I thought, like okay, he's bigger. I get it because I believe the other ones are twenty. But to have this little cool breathing effect, that's really awesome. And the LED lights in there, and it was really easy to do. That's really cool. I think that's really really cool, especially like for pictures and stuff. Um, I I love it. <laughs> it's really cool um only thing i would say is he's super loose and you can't really like pose him very well and he kind of like only he will stand on his, on his tail. tail but you know what for oh man yeah see he's kind of wonky to stand up but you know what i don't care i think that this is really cool i'm pretty stoked about that i think that is really really cool so uh, again, Walmart and Target. I have not... No, we did see that, Target. Um, I've seen it mostly at Walmart. But again, really, really cool. Bowser from the movie. Get an LED effect and some flame effect. <laughs> that's cool. So yeah, so that was our first find. So I was super excited to find that. And honestly, that's even better than I thought it would be. So um, really cool there. Again, three AAA batteries and a couple drops of water. No, no other liquids. So... Um, next thing we got, and I have to give a big shout out, um, got two shout outs today, but the first one goes to Holland Toy Flicks, Craig, my boy. Um, again, I have not found anything Holothon by me. They don't even have a spot for it. Um, I wasn't looking for a ton. I was looking for this guy for Rex, um, and I was looking for the Bebop and Rocksteady superheroes. Their names are uh, Mighty Hog and something I can't remember. Um, 
And, you know, my boy Craig ends up going looking for him, and he finds him, and he gives me this one. And the Bebop and Rocksteady, super awesome. Um, really cool guy. Just thank you a ton, man. Really, really awesome. I will not be opening that Bebop and Rocksteady until I find another one. But I'm all down to open Mr. Rex here. So pretty excited. Um, I know a lot of people have found a lot of this stuff. And I know a lot of people haven't. And that's just kind of how turtles are. And then they decided to put these up online last Friday. And everybody was trying to get this accessory set here. And I mean, it sold out in like two minutes. So it's really hard with these Toon Turtles. I'm sure they will come back and I'm sure you'll be able to find it later, but it is kind of a bummer. So there's the background for him. Nothing crazy, just kind of like a dark alley. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm done with my turtle stuff uh, for Holothon at this point, unless I find another Bebop and Rocksteady. So there he is. He comes with quite a bit of stuff. Um, I don't open a lot of my NECA tunes just because they're usually tight on me. And I don't know, I, I feel like I'm going to break them. But I'm down to open this guy. Pretty excited, actually. This guy was pretty cool in the show. I don't remember a ton of it, but I do remember him in the show. And I just think it's really cool. So um, I'm not going to pop these open, but here's the hands you get. So you get two flat hands, two kind of these hands, two open flat hands. Then you have one hand where he's holding a gear, and I'll kind of show that on the back there. Um, not sure what that gear goes to, but that's kind of cool. I like the hands. I really like these hands, actually. Those are pretty cool. So we might switch them out, but then he's got some cool accessories here, which is awesome. So let's see what we got. These zip ties are giving me trouble today so he comes with three vhs tapes which are pretty cool little accessories they are all the same i kind of wish they when they do stuff like this they would make them a little different but that's okay cool little accessories boom, boom, boom. Uh, then he has like the commute this looks like a communicator or something i can't remember exactly what it is what does it say does it say anything? They don't ever say what they come with, which is oh, VHS tapes. Uh, I don't know. Who cares? Um, so you got this thing. <clears throat> then you've got a can of oil, which is cool because he's basically the Tin Man. <laughs> And then you have this, and I was unsure what this was until I saw somebody on Facebook talking about it. What do you think that is? Oops. It's a tongue. It's his tongue. Oh. Because I apparently, and I could be wrong, this is just what I saw somebody say in Facebook group, that April tells him to hold his tongue. And so he holds his tongue. Yeah, okay. kind of interesting, right? Otherwise, I'd have no idea what that is. And he comes with these, I'm guessing they're guns. They look like almost hand cannons, which is pretty cool. And let's pop him open. He is huge, by the way. I knew he was pretty beefy um, from watching other people unbox it, watching my boy Craig unbox it on his Instagram. Um, but man, like, it is kind of weird when... You see people unbox stuff, but then you actually get it in person and you unbox it and you're like, wow, yeah, this is, this is pretty big. Oh, zip ties galore. All right. So here is Rex one and we're, it's the one thing you can just hear this, you know, you can just hear how tight they are. And that is my one thing about these NECA uh tunes that i'm just like oh my goodness <laughs> oh lord uh oh all right so there he is his feet are kind of weird i'm probably gonna have to mess with it but they look like horse hooves he's a Clydesdale yeah <laughs> so um I mean I think he looks really really cool and he's pretty big like I mean you can see just right here next to Bowser I mean Bowser's a lot wider but like it is really big compared to Bowser height-wise. Um, 
he looks pretty good. I do really, really like the face. I love the front of him. The back to me is kind of interesting. Um, and you'll see it just, it almost doesn't fit. And I know that's how he's supposed to look. Don't get me wrong. I just honestly probably would have... He's not the color as he is on the box. You know, he's like a purple in here. Um, and this is just a light blue with a dark blue on the back. But I would have probably preferred the purple on there. But this is still really cool. The dark blue is just kind of like where they end it. It just doesn't look as clean to me. Like how they just do right here. It's just like, oh, stop. It's like right down the middle, just split to blue. Um, the back looks good, though. I mean, nothing crazy. His feet do look like horse feet. You are totally right but i do really like his face i think his face is awesome the body does look cool and i do like the little details of the gears on the arms and everything like that so there he is um i do know that these pop open so you can see his chest in there which is really cool i'm really glad they made those open i think that's awesome um and then i do think you can there it is you can stick the tongue in there, which is really cool. Um, and then I'm guessing these go on like his flat hands, probably like these guys, which is pretty cool. Um, as far as articulation, I mean, like I said, he's going to be tight. He does have nice swivels here, which is nice. And these arms aren't too bad, but like I do definitely feel like I'm going to like bust this guy. His wrist joint is really tight. There's nothing really there. Um, head can go pretty far um he does got a nice up and down which is great his legs are pretty good i'm moving this pretty wild <sighs> knees bend good and like i said you can just hear it you know it's just you're just waiting for that snap his ankle joint is kind of weird i'm not a huge fan of this whole piece right here i feel like that is like restricting his movement and like i can't even get these ankles very flat you know so um i feel like he's kind of restricted because of those i mean i got him standing there he just looks kind of funny to me um but the legs are pretty decent i mean he moves actually pretty well for um being a neck tune and for how kind of like bulky he is i do definitely see that you could pop something off of him very easily um but you know there he is i do like it he does come with some cool accessories um, I did want to see, let's just check real quick. I would assume that that's what it is, is that these go like here. I mean, that's what makes sense to me, right? I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's, that's what makes sense to me. Um, I could be wrong, but you can throw those on there, I believe. I think that's what you're going to have to do. Maybe it's a different one of these hands. Maybe it's one of these trigger hands instead. Um, but, I mean, I like it. I do like it. I do like the extra hands he comes with. I think they're really cool. Let's see. Yeah, see, those don't fit in there very well. But you could definitely force it in there to fit. I don't even know if I'll pose him with the guns. Um... But he is, he's really cool. I do really like this figure a lot. I think he looks pretty good. Like I said, I would have preferred maybe the purple coloring instead. Um, and he's pretty stiff. But I do like just the little details they did. I'm glad you can kind of get to the mouth as well. And you can throw this tongue in, which is really cool. Um, and, you know, like I said, he does move better than I thought he would. So there is rex one i'm not a fan of his feet though that's about my only complaint is his feet and bowser's still puffing there we go <laughs> so um really cool i i like it i definitely like it i like the accessories the two line always does a good job with accessories they give you some really cool stuff i mean like the oil can that's really cool that they did that um the vhs tapes that's really cool so yeah so there is bowser and there is rex one NECA. Uh, from TMNT Tune Line. So, we've got two more things, and yes, they both are Ninja Turtles, and I'm pretty excited for them both. But first, it's Funko Pop time. What the Funko is up, guys? We're back. It's Sunday, and we have Demon Slayer Pops. Woo! As you can see. <laughs> nope. 
Um, yeah, so we went to the theaters last night and uh. saw the last two episodes of Entertainment District and then the first episode of The Swordsmith Village. Village. And what did you think? It makes me excited for Oof. this new season, for sure. But again, I don't know if it's just me getting old or what, but people in the movie theaters nowadays drive me nuts. Like the phrase, silence is golden. Where did that go? It's gone. Shut up, okay? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I think everyone there has probably seen the last two episodes lots of times because I have. It's nothing new, so we don't need to clap. We don't need to be like, oh, it's so fun. Like, <laughs> we know, okay? Like, just silence, people. I couldn't even really enjoy because people were just talking and laughing obnoxiously. I'm fine with laughing, folks. But, but obnoxious laughing, just... Can you show our viewers an, an obnoxious laugh? No, I don't. Come on, I don't. do it. No, I'm good. <laughs> But it was worth seeing, and it makes me really stoked for this new season coming out. So if you can, I would go see it. They do have it dubbed, and they do have it subbed. So you Besides. can go see them either way. Yeah, dubbed, because... But it was really cool. It, it's, yeah, I'm really excited. Yes. But we're going to start with the three that aren't mine, because they aren't being opened. Oh, well, whose are they? Collector Bees. Oh. That's an open crap. So, oh gosh. Cano, Cano. baby. We've got Cano <laughs> here. I don't know how to say her last name. Cano Tishiyuri. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, Cano. Cano. She. Cano. Cano. Boom. Her box is like really dirty on the inside. Dusty? We might. It's like on the inside. Oh, no, it's the outside. Is it? I was going to say, we might need to get another one. Ah, oh, there we go. Cano. Cano. They do have a glow in the dark one of her, Which but apparently really it's a Barnes, it's Barnes and, Noble and Noble exclusive, and I can't find anywhere to grab it. So then we've got Rui. Rui, which is really cool. They did make a two pack of him with Tondro, but that one's not as cool. They do have a glow in the dark version of him too. Apparently it's gonna be a GameStop exclusive, but I haven't seen it yet. Can you say her name? Uh, Mitsugiri. Yeah, boob girl. There we go. <laughs> boob girl. Me, <laughs> meet, meet Siri. Kanraji. I, I don't. I'm know. gonna have to hear it a couple. The times love, Hashira. Before I can actually say it. Which, by the way, she's pretty cool in Swordsmith Village already. So yes. Where so, did we get these? These. Hot topic. Hot topic. Right? But none of these are exclusives. Nope, they so, aren't. They're on Amazon, too, I believe. They're in yeah. a couple different places. You can find them quite a bit of places. Box Lunch, Amazon, Hot Topic. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if they start showing up at, like, Walmarts or something mm -hmm. pretty soon. Yeah. So. Ooh. I'm going to start with the big, the big, the big ones. The big girls. We've got the big girls <laughs> here. We'll do this one because this is a re-release. I didn't realize one was a Box Lunch and one was a Hot Topic. Hot Topic. That's this funny. Is box, box Lunch. lunch. Then this is Mini Nezuko in box. Yes, they did re-release this. We actually got this yesterday. For $10 because we had $15 in box lunch No, cash. they say in your, do you have any, what do they say? Like, do you have any lunch money? Lunch That's money. That's what they call yeah, it. But, yeah. And then we had another $5 off coupon that they let us use too. So it was only 10 bucks, which yeah. is super cool. Yeah, because originally this one's thirty dollars, and mm -hmm. I mean, she's just really small. I feel like well, for thirty dollars, it's mini Nezuko. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, but then just make it. I know you can't really do it in that size, but what? Is she dirty? She's got a stain on her forehead, but her head does move, so that's dope. Oh, she does have a stain. I, I'm probably just going to have to clean off. Interesting, because when we were looking yesterday... I didn't see that. I did not see that. But it's cool. She comes with her box. 
Her hair looks better than the running Nezuko. Uh huh. The box she didn't is get cool. her brain cut out on this one. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> huh? Hmm. <laughs> Mini Nezuko. The door is kind of like flimsy, so it kind of does move. So hmm. that's cool. But there's Mini Nezuko. <sighs> And Bowser. Still puffing. And we've got the Hot Topic exclusive Nezuko Kamado in Basket. 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 <laughs> and then this one has the new wave on the back. Mm. What did the other one have? This one, it's... I didn't look. Oh, it's, it's just, just her. her. Interesting. They do have quite a bit of these at Hot Topic and Box Lunch, too, um, and Running Nezuko. We went to the mall, and the Box Lunch had what? They had, like, 50 <laughs> on the shelf. It was kind of ridiculous. It was kind of ridiculous. I was like, Jesus. Jesus. <clears throat> Boom. Yeah, she's She don't move at all. <laughs> <laughs> but. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, Nezuko. Oh, I love that it's just a head in the oh, basket. Oh, yeah, which it's funny because, like, this was the first season. Oh, yeah, before he got his box. Yeah. And they just did it. Uh-huh. Yeah, they put these pops out weird Odd for times. Demon Slayer. It doesn't make sense to me. But there's the two Nezikos. Her hair looks better, too. Yeah, no, Oh, well, I but don't. you don't get the color. Of no, I know. It's... But it, you can see it in the basket. It's yeah. red underneath. But again, like, why was the running, running Nezuko's, Nezuko's hair was jacked? Like, square cut out. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You better do somebody Ooh. last. Huh? There's one of them you better do last. I know who you're well, opening we're doing first. Yeah. Inosuke first because. Beast breathing. It's Inosuke. Fourth form. <laughs> I didn't get the front. This is a what? Oh, this is the Target Con. Target Con exclusive. This is an exclusive. But we saw quite a bit of them. I still see them at Target, mm -hmm. so you should find him pretty easy. Mm -hmm. And they have little keychains of him oh. as well in this. Yeah, and I got Tanjiro keychain. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, he's doing his beast breathing. That's weird that there was that quote on that one, Nezuko. Yeah, that was a great quote too, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but like... Maybe when Goku's will say, set your heart ablaze. Oh, yeah, that would be great, too. I forgot about tasting. Oh, he's on a stand. I told you. Mm -hmm. Because he's doing his Makes beast sense. breathing. Yeah, he's on, like, his tiptoes. His head doesn't move, though. No? No. Well, it's probably because he's in this pose. Oh, he looks great, though. Yeah, no, he looks really good. Beast like, breathing. I wonder if they're el they will ugh, ever do like a super bloody version, like blood coming out of oh, his or nose. Or he's just you know? get his gets his head smashed. Yeah, yeah. just like this. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, no, it looks. Really it looks good. really good, yeah. actually. I love the pose. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, he's next to Rex. Okay, come on, which one's next? I'm gonna have to do Tanjiro. Yeah, obviously. Come on. Real Goku! R.I.P., man. I know. Uh, okay, we've got Tanjiro with noodles, which this thing is super cool. Like, I don't know what it is with noodles, noodles <laughs> but it is it's awesome. Anyone with noodles is just amazing. Mm -hmm. And look at that. He's going to town. Two bowls! Two bowls. <laughs> I believe this is Udon. Yeah. It's, is that uh, all he's eaten is udon? Yeah. The, well, or hot pot. Hot pot. As well. But, yeah, that's true. I don't know if this is his hot pot or if this is the udon he dropped and then had to go back and order two bowls. He's got a scuff. How can I not see <laughs> this, man? <laughs> I keep all the good ones in the boxes, guys. His head doesn't move either. Well, yeah, so we've because got no heads moving. No, I know, but like yeah, we because well, it's be well, but the noodles. That's why because yeah. they're in his hand. I really like the way his jacket's laying. 
or his. Well, let's see it. <laughs> Tandro. Tandro. Tostito. Oh my God. That's awesome. Dude, it's fantastic. Like, there's his earrings. Not much detail on those earrings, though. Oh, his jacket is cool. It's because mm -hmm. of the swords behind yeah. him. I love it. It's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you open these and, like, I don't open them, it makes me want to open them. His hair looks fantastic. Yeah, I love the... Like, the very color textured. on it the is so great. cool. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just had to do that. I love it. I love oh, yeah, it. Yeah, where are the beams? I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Side. There's no... See, guys? There's... It's right here. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Here we go. Last but not least. Long live the king. I know. We've got Rengoku. How do you say his first name? I, I don't even want Kyojuro Rengoku. Rengoku. <laughs> I said that totally wrong. <laughs> And again, I would love if they made another one of him holding all the boxed lunches. Oh, that would be great. Like, that would be really cool. Or like a hole in his chest. That as well. <laughs> and bloody. <laughs> That's a terracotta. Nice form. Go, go. We're still waiting for them to make Tangan. Because where's the love for Tangan? Well, they just came out with Rengoku. Yeah, but they've already made the Love Hashira and Mist Boy. Yeah, I know. I don't. That's crap. It doesn't make any sense. Tangan is the man. Flashy. Is he cool? He's cool. Rengoku! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, this makes me want to open mine. God, they, they also... They do have a glow-in-the-dark version of him mm -hmm. coming out as well. What is it, though? What? What exclusive is it? It's a Wally Mart. Oh, it's Walmart. Exclusive. It's Walmart? Really? Okay, well, I yeah. should be able to find oh, that one. So. Dude, he looks fantastic. Yeah, he looks really good. The his hair, his coat. I want his coat so bad. Oh, did you move his head? Yeah, you yeah, did. I did. That looks his head does really look, cool. So. Man, uh -huh. he's my favorite. So I mean, cool. I like all of these but he is oh, tasty Shoot. okay so pops this week nezuko coming out of the it's mini nezuko mini guys yeah whatever nezuko and basket red goku tanjiro eating noodles and a nosuke is that beast breathing yeah beast, beast breathing. breathing and then we've got these three Boom. Which I might eventually get these ones to open, but right yeah, now. Yeah, I might have to. Mm. I mm. should have got Rui, though. You think sure. so? Mm-hmm. But I do have the one two pack. Gave yeah. Me, so, yeah. Yeah, we can always. Those ones, those three <laughs> back here are pretty much just like chilling at Hot Topic and mm -hmm. right now. But these two are Tanjiro a little more hard to find. These sold two, out like yeah. that. When we still haven't seen Rengoku uh -uh. after the first time we saw yeah. him. He's again at Target. He's pretty simple to find. And these two you can still find at Box Lunch. Mm -hmm. I think Box so. Lunch like really overstocks their pops sometimes. Well, Box Lunch is nice. just seems like Nezuko and that's that, it. Mm -hmm, that too. So. so, yes. Let me know down below if you have seen Demon Slayer. Which of these is your favorite? And I am too excited for April now. I just want it to come out. Yeah, let us know what you guys think if you're super excited mm -hmm. for this next season. Because yeah. we are. So so excited. So, yeah. Remember, if you go to movie theaters, don't be a douche. That's all I have to say. This has been a service announcement from Collector A. Yes. Don't be a douche. Don't be a douche. And as always, pop out. Red Goku! All right, we are back, and we have two more things. But first of all, yeah, go check out Demon Slayer. And like Collector A said, don't be a douche. Nobody likes a douche. But this Rengoku is so sick. Awesome. Super excited. Um, so, yes, so we got two more things. And I'm actually really, really excited, really, for really, 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 right? For, really? For <laughs> both of these. But, man, all right. 
Boom. B-S-T-A-X-N. Does it say deluxe? No. Or what does it say on the... XL Krang. So, um, again, a lot of you hate these BSTAXN figures, and I, I get it. It is what it is, but this Krang looks fantastic. Um, I don't have an issue with these figures. I think for the price, they're actually really good. Yeah, they're not even that expensive. They're not. So this like, one was 30 but look how big ginormous. he is. I mean, you can see next to these two. So, um, got this guy off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure he's still on there. I wouldn't be surprised if you start seeing this guy at books or at some toy shops. Haven't seen him at Walmart or Target or anything like that, but this is really cool. I mean, you get the Android body, you get Krang, you get some fists, you get some drills, you get lots of cool things with him. Um, so I'm pretty excited, and the size is awesome. So I do have the NECA, NECA, NECA Krang, um, but unfortunately, I didn't open him because at that point, um, when I was collecting the tune line, I didn't have any of them open, and I only found one crane the whole time and i didn't want to open it so unfortunately i can't compare that to you guys uh with him but i have seen others who have got this and he is actually pretty much the exact same size as the neck of crane um but apparently i've heard this one stands a lot better which makes sense because maybe that crane has some clydesdale feet <laughs> so boom but man i was super shocked though when i got this how big it was Look at that background. That's kind of cool. Not, I mean, it's pretty nothing crazy. But I just mean that it, like you can sit there and it can you can clearly see what it is. Um, okay. Boom. There is a better look. So he comes with that axe for his hand, the drill, and then those two guns. I believe is what they are. Um, the sword, which is really cool, and then obviously two fist hands, two oh, open hands, the and then you sticker. have. Brand. Oh yeah, the B S T A X N. It's not even a sticker either. Wow. Boom. But yeah, the size of this guy, very shocking to me. So here is his uh, axe hand. This goes into his hand. It looks pretty good. Honestly, like, it's not too bad. Um, again, I know these usually get quite a bit of hate because everybody likes the NECA ones, but I, I think they're really good. I don't really have too much of an issue. They're not anywhere close to a lot of the NECA figures. I think the turtles are better from NECA. Um, but some of these, like, guys on, uh, like, the villain stuff have been pretty good. So, then you've got this gun, which, again, goes into his hand. All these go into his hands. He doesn't hold any of them. It's actually his hand instead of these. So, two of the, those are exactly the same. Then you have his drill. I wish the drill was a little bigger, but I'm glad they gave you the drill, which is cool. Uh, And honestly, for those weapons and for it being BSD, they look pretty solid. Paint's pretty good on them. Detail's pretty decent. Not bad. So uh, here's his sword that goes into his hand as well. Pretty basic, but it looks good. And it's straight, isn't it? It's a little bent. It's a little bent at the bent. top, isn't it? So um, then he does come with fist hands. And there's crud all over this one. It's I wiped it off, but there is some stuff all over but two left and right fist hands then we've got krang himself oh uh, boxing gloves oops. oh interesting i'm surprised they did that so you do get krang himself what is interesting is these have joints which I did not think they were would. I thought they were completely stuck, but no, they can completely move, and they actually do have joints for both of them. And he looks pretty good. Nothing crazy, but he looks pretty good. I'm really surprised those move, honestly. I mean, BST does a good job with articulation. Um, that's one of their things they say on there, is that they have so many points of articulation, but, like, I just didn't think that they were going to move. Oh, Krang, where? Why aren't you? Oh, okay. Thought that arm was going to break on me. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. He looks good. He looks really good. I've always loved the android body because of how skinny his legs are. He definitely skipped leg day. Um, I think it looks fantastic. 
honestly. I know it's a little different um, from the NECA version just because the NECA version is more like flat paint. This one, they do a totally different style, um, but it looks really, really good. What is cool is there's some Krang tentacles on the inside in there. Which I see I why you take really. those off. I don't know. I don't think these come off because that joint's there. So maybe it's could maybe he just has two other tentacles. I don't know. Maybe you are supposed to take them off. I just don't see how these would come off. Um, but I mean, all the details on him look really good. The face looks good. This is bent a little bit. That's okay. Uh, let's turn. There's his side view again. Skipped leg day, man. Definitely skipped leg day. Um, but the paint apps look good. I I, th I don't have much of a complaint he stands super easy which is nice the back details on the back look really good he's moving pretty easy that's the other thing is i really haven't had too many issues with this with these bsts um as far as moving them around i haven't had one break on me either which is nice and there's his side looks good right yeah, swell. Swell. So, um, as far as articulation, these legs do have a thigh swivel, which is great. Um, that's a, about as far out as you're going to get them, but that's fine. Um, knee joint. Let's see. That's my only issue. I thought that was going to be it. He's restricted with this going up because of this up here. Um, ankle, no toe, no toe joint. Not much of an ankle joint either, but it's not terrible. Again, bicep swivel. Uh, elbow joints he does have a wrist joint this can bend very well he's again restricted here but you can get that arm all the way around if you wanted to um these that's my only issue you know when they do that you can see that it's not that big of a deal though for me um his head little up and down nothing crazy does go around if you want it to um and then no ab crunch but it's an android body. So what do you expect? Um, so as far as Krang, I don't even know how you're you supposed to, to open get... him. How do you open him? You sweat him in half. Really? Are you just saying stuff to me? No. You're probably right, but... <laughs> Pause the video. <laughs> okay, guys, so... I didn't want to break it, so I had to pause, but bam, that just pops open, which is super easy. I thought it was going to be a little bit difficult. Um, these do pop off. They do have joints, but you have to pop them off to get Krang in. I was pretty scared to do that because I was like, oh, God, like, what if I bust him? But then he sits down in there, and there he is in there, which looks great. I think it looks fantastic, honestly. Um, so really cool. I'm pretty much, I, I'm digging this guy a lot. So, as far as these hands, I do want to see, I'm going to give him the sword, even though it looks funny. Ah! And then, what else should we give him? Your choice. Axe, drill, or gun? The axe. The axe. Boom. So, there he is. So, I mean... I, I love it. Honestly, I think it's really, really cool. I think it's great that they give you separate tentacles for Krang. They do give you fist hands. They do give you open hands, which is fantastic. You get this drill. You get the guns. You get the sword. You get the axe. You can put Krang in. His body separates. You can take Krang out. I mean, I, I love it. I think it's great. There's his height. I mean, he's pretty much almost the exact same height as these two, which is crazy. And again... $30. This is way more. I think this was like 50. And this is $30. So he's almost out of breath there. But um I don't know. I I think these BST uh AXN team and T figures are just getting better, honestly. I think they've really improved. Um I think they got a lot of hate when the first wave came out and then now they've just been doing some cool stuff. I mean, the street turtles and this this might be one of my favorite things I opened today. Um that Bowser's giving me a run for the money, though, just because of the, all that. But, like, how how cool is this? And Krang looks great, honestly. So, boom, there it is. Krang, Android Body, TMNT, TMNT, BSTAXM. So, uh, really cool. Again, still on Amazon, so you guys can get that for, like, 30 bucks on Amazon. So, last but not least, 
And this is my next shout out. First of all, uh, shout out to Josh White. Um, met this guy at Comic-Con. He's in a, the Geeked Out Collections group that I'm in. Um, he actually let me know about the Comic-Con in Alabama last year. I went down, we met, talked, really great guy. Well, he hit me up, asked me uh, last week if I was looking for Holothon stuff. Of course I was. And man, this dude went looking, bam, and he got me an accessory set, which is fantastic because I did really want this for the little turtles. And again, if you tried to get these on Friday, they sold out so quick it was kind of a disappointment for a lot of people so i was super happy i didn't have to deal with that and bam there it is the tmnt tune accessory set with the four baby turtles so super super cool really nice guy thank you again josh i really appreciate it um so with this you get baby leo baby donnie baby mike baby raf big mac video game console tv with interchangeable screens cheese print uh sorry cheese painting Pizza box, two VHS tapes, backpack, ray gun, turtle tracker, star of Hoboken, baby pizza monster, uh, rocksteady helmet, blowtorch, and multiple baby weapons. So a lot of stuff. So again, this is at Target um, for Holothon. I love the box, first of all. I love how NECA does the art on these boxes. I think they're really, really cool. And this is really awesome. And I think, well... I did not think this was going to be that big. And when it showed up, I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> crazy. So, um, again, this is part of Holothon. So, they are still being released at Targets. Like I said, my Target by me, I don't even have a spot for it yet, huh? <laughs> I mean, just nothing. So, you may be able to run into these still at Target. And I guarantee they will probably be on costumes.com. They'll probably end up on Target again. Uh, maybe AliExpress, a couple places like that. So just be patient. Don't pay those scalpers. Holy crap. Did not realize. I mean, I just read off a ton of stuff to you, but I guess I just didn't realize. So, bam, look at that. Just crazy amount of stuff. I love the two little pizza monsters. I think that's really cool, especially because I already have a small pizza monster, which is cool. Um... So here are the first thing we'll go through. We have these interchangeable screens, I think, that go on the TV. No. Wow. <laughs> so you get the duck. I don't remember his name. It's Ace Duck. I passed on him. These are cool. These are actually really cool. Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, is this Donnie in Disguise? You get the dinosaur wrestling match that one's really cool especially because it's black and white this is the one they show on the tv where they're playing the game then you get this monster again black and white i love that they mix these up and then of course you get channel six tv news with vernon and what's the last one channel six april april so that's really cool i'm re that's really awesome that they do that i know a lot of people do uh photography stuff you know my boy Paul and Toy Flix is really good at it, does stuff like that. And I know he got this set, so it's really cool. Just gives you some options there. And let's pop it open. Now, my boy, Josh, who got me this, said his did not come with two VHS tapes. And it definitely does say on the box, two VHS tapes. So we will have to see if mine came with two. If not, I guess we'll use Rex's VHS tapes. All right. Wow. It didn't say Mouser. Did I say Mouser? It says nowhere on here, Mouser, which is interesting. So you do get the Mouser, which looks like his mouth opens. It does. Fantastic. So boom, you get the mouser, which is cool because I never got the mouser pack because I don't really care. You get a backpack, which I'm not sure who you're supposed to use this with because it's definitely not for the baby turtles, but you get a backpack. Yeah, this comes with a ton of stuff. <laughs> Do you think this is actually a magnet? I don't think so. So you get the cheese picture frame. But it almost looks like it's a magnet on the back, but it's not. I wish it was. That'd be kind of cool. What sort of back of a picture looks like? No, I, I obviously. <laughs> thank you, Stu. 
Uh, you get a pizza groove pizza box that comes with the pizza, and the pizza does come out of it, which shouldn't it be the other way? Right? Uh, pizza Hut and all those are. Which okay, is it's not Pizza Hut. You know, the turtles would love Pizza Hut, okay? Let's check these VHS tapes. Um, Josh, I only got one VHS tape as well. Which is interesting. It definitely says two right there. Misprint. It says... Two VHS tapes. Right there. Two. T-double-O VHS tapes. And I only got one. How rude. Yeah. So, kind of a bummer. Um, I don't know what this is. Not sure where that goes. At all. Then you've got this machine, which is cool. I don't know what which one this is. If this is the Hoboken thing or whatever. There you go. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is that. Oh, what do you call it? The. This is the star. No, I don't know. I don't know. You've got this gem. Maybe that's the star of Hoboken. Don't know. Then you've got this tracker right here, which is pretty cool. Just a lot of accessories for your tunes. Then you've got the video game console. Which is awesome. Boom. Looks like a Super Nintendo, which is great. Then you've got, I believe this is Rocksteady's helmet and gun. It's just nuts that they do these and they give you all these accessories, like not just for the turtles, you know. Yeah, it's, it's like for they, all these villains mm -hmm. and everything, which is cool. And then I believe this is Baxter Stockton's head as Shredder. I'm almost certain. That's what it looks like to me. Boom. Right there, sorry. Then you've got the blowtorch, which is pretty cool. No branding on it, which is interesting. Usually they have branding on stuff, but there is the blowtorch. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't realize that. Then you've got the two little pizza monsters, which I'm I love that it came with little more pizza monsters those are fantastic i love the pizza monster i think the pizza monster is one of my favorite of this tune line super awesome um this tv is really cool which i'm curious how you put these in there okay so that comes off the vhs player comes off but what's cool is they do have the spot for oh, the vhs cool. yeah um but i'm trying to figure out also i love that it's books as <laughs> the other leg you know how cool is that i'm trying to figure out how to put these in something's got to pop off so i can slide this in i thought maybe there'd just be like a, a slide thing here but I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. Are you sure you just don't, like, pop it on? That's what I thought, but look at it. Oh, yeah, never It's mind. too big, so it's got to, like, slide in somewhere, so I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, But, yeah, the TV's really cool. I do like the books there. Hmm, I don't know. But this is why I wanted this set right here was... Like, honestly, they could have just given me these, and I would have been okay with that. So this is what I wanted. Was the baby turtles. Boom. Oh my god, they're so adorable. He's not going to stand. I, these are going to be a pain to stand, though. <laughs> there is Donnie, baby turtle. Come on. Those are cool, right? Hmm. 
I think they're cool. Foot's all jacked up. I know. I saw that. So I'll have to mess with him. Then we've got Raphael. Baby Raph. I love that they came with the weapons, too. I'm, like, really happy that they did that. He looks petrified. Steve Donnie? Mm-hmm. Well, Raph looks pissed, so... I guess... <clears throat> I guess that works. It's crazy that these are so articulated, though. I mean, they have joints yeah, you're everywhere. Yeah, are gonna break it. Probably, ankle. yeah, these ankles, that's what I bet a lot of people are going to snap because, oof, and I really don't want to, but <laughs> there's Raph, <laughs> really cool. Of course, what do you think Michelangelo's doing? Eating pizza. No, he's smiling. Oh. That's one thing, no slices of pizza with this, mm -mm. which is kind of interesting. I thought they would do that, but. There's one nunchuck. Oh my god, Mikey's adorable. Yeah, these ankles are terrible coming out of this. I don't think you're going to get any of these to stand. Probably which is not. unfortunate. I don't care. Honestly, I just wanted baby turtles. Oh, <laughs> look how cute he is. <laughs> yeah, right? That's exciting. I love it. And then we've got Leo, last but not least. This is a cool set, honestly. I'm uh, actually a lot more happy with this set than i thought i would be at first i just really wanted the baby turtles but it comes with quite a bit of cool stuff which is pretty cool so and my mother is calling <laughs> me <laughs> she's gonna have to wait i know terrible i'm terrible guys so boom there is leonardo here, no. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, you definitely have to mess with these joints on the baby turtles, at least their ankles. They are going to be very hard to stand up, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, at the same time, they're baby turtles. So I didn't expect to be, you know, doing too much with them. You are jacking this up, lady. Well, I'm trying to Lady. Stand. Let's see. Come on, we got three out of four. Yeah, there they are. So, I mean, really cool. You've got some really cool stuff here in this accessory set. I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I don't know what I'll do with a lot of these accessories. I really like, God dang it, I really like the pizza monsters um, and the baby turtles and the TV, but everything else I might not do much with. But, you know, it is really cool. And if you collect the tune line, they give you a lot of stuff here to mess around with which is really awesome so um yeah so this was this was a great day honestly i mean this krang is fantastic rex is pretty cool i'm not a huge fan of his feet but he is really cool this bowser i would get it if i if you guys like mario definitely get this bowser if you're on the fence about any of them get the bowser because he does some cool stuff i don't think the other ones the other do ones anything. don't do anything they're 19 but i don't think they do anything and these pops, I'm sorry, Rengoku and Tondro eating noodles, even beast breathing and the Nezuko's, fantastic. I mean, this was this was all around really good on Boxing Day. Um, and yeah, like Collector A said, go see Demon Slayer. Um, man, it gets me so hyped for this next season. So super cool. So let us know what you think about all this stuff. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was, what you're going to grab, what you have grabbed, what you aren't going to grab, what you don't like um and yeah follow us on instagram link will be in the description below i'm just i'm pretty happy right now this is really really cool so um i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your sunday have a fantastic week i hope you find some more holothon stuff if you're still looking or anything else um and yeah just have a great week so that's it as always collectors never stop collecting